Welcome back traders. So we're looking at AUDJPY, right? And as you can see right here, right, we have a trade, right? We're just waiting for price to actually break, right? As you can see, we have this channel over here, right? And price broke and price is retesting, right? And now we have a double top over here and price is doing a bullish channel, right? And broke the channel, right? We're just waiting for price to actually break the neckline. Makes sense? And then go back down and hit our profit targets, right? Now it's actually really simple with the way we're actually looking at it, right? Because one thing about me is that I always risk less and I always expect right a higher ratio from price. Like the previous trade we took, we made like around seven R, right? Just risking one R makes sense. In our case, it's 100 USD for 700 USD, makes sense. So this is how we're actually passing the profit frame, right? We're actually risking less and trying to win high when we win. And when we lose, expect that we actually accept the loss, right? And as you can see, right here, this news at around half past 2 p.m. the Tuesday, makes sense. There's news on USD, but we're not actually afraid of the news because remember, our ch challenge type doesn't allow news because we're using the express challenge, right? And it, it doesn't allow news, right? Which actually makes sense because news are volatile and anything can happen from news, right? But we are trading AUDJPY, so there is no USD on the pair which you're trading. But it doesn't mean that price won't be affected. Makes sense because guys, news affects every pair. It it might not be as major as the current pair like USD. On USD, you are going to see a lot of like volatility. But even on other pairs like AUDJPY, there will be still movement affected by by currency pairs like AUDUSD. Makes sense. Same thing as AUDJPY. If you know there is no USD on the current, right? Current pair that I'm using right now, AUDJPY, right? Oh, traders, as you can see right now, AUDJPY, right? This was my initial trade, guys. This was my initial trade. Now I'm taking another trade because, why? Right, as you can see, right? I was never stopped out. But according to the finalness challenge, I was stopped out, right? So now we're going to be looking for an, another trade like this, right? So I don't know why they did that. But I think it's, it's a for manipulation or something, right? But it's, it, it's okay. It's okay, right? It's fine. You took the loss, even though you didn't take the loss, but it's fine. It's fine. All right, traders, as you can see right now, I'm about to take another trade. I'm not going to enter immediately. I'm just going to put an order below. So if price base below these levels, makes sense, my, I will be triggered in, right? Press my breakout, retest, and then go down, right? Remember, guys, we've been cheated, like, Find that shit, like it cheated us our own life, it cheated on us, right? So we're trying to actually recover from that because it took a huge loss due to slippage, even though there was no way that price could actually go to my stop loss, but it's fine. It's fine. Alright, as you can see, price did go down yesterday, but we didn't even make any profit from that due to finding this, you know, manipulating our trades, right? Because it's, it's taking us out, but even though price didn't even, even you know. Like hit our stop loss. Check, 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 check the first trade we took. This is what the first trade we took, and this is our second trade we took, right? But then this one, we actually increased our stop loss because, right? We see the price has potential of going down, right? But right now, it, I'm thinking price might do something like this and then break above, and we might lose the trade, right? But I'm trying to actually recover from the loss, right? Because of we're already losing like four up, we're already losing like four up, right? Now I know most of you are gonna say for, I'm trading recklessly. It's fine. This is very true. Right, but I'm not letting my emotion control me. Right, I'm just trying to actually do a cover relax, which is why even now I'm risking less. Right, so as you can see, this is our new trade. This is our new trade. Alright, traders, as you can see, things didn't go very well, and as you can see, we lost from 700, we're now running at 300. Right, drawing the profit. Come on, guys, we lost everything like 50% of what we made last week. We, we lost more than 50% of what we made last week, actually. And this is it, as you can see right now, we have 6.3, right, basically, right, and yeah, man, and I think, you know, fine, that's actually, I'm not impressed by the way, by their trading conditions, I won't lie to you guys, so, I won't recommend this right now, right, let's see how everything goes until the end, but for now, I won't recommend this, because check this out, remember the first trade we took, this was the first trade we took, remember, right, apparently they took me out, right, even though my stop loss was above, Right, the key level, but they took me out. But it's fine, right? It's fine as long as I, I still have the challenge. And I, I'm, I'm telling you guys, don't trade with fairness right now until we actually find out if uh, they, they are actually going to pay me out. If that, if not, don't trade with fairness. So for now, keep watching the service and let's see how everything ends. 
right? So this, this, this is an experience you're actually having together, right? So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, join, and let's see how the whole thing ends, right? So until next time, cheers, continue to trust me for you. Let's go. What else in this family have you ever seen who sits in, who sits in front of a laptop and makes money? Yeah. So there's no reference.